Hey Jammers, welcome back to Super Buddies Forever. Gonna do this real quick for you guys. Uh, Shirley Dishman and Falcon Productions definitely requested that I do show these. And therefore I will or show this, which is Rochelle from the Nautical Ghouls, Monster High, Shriek Wrecked. She's very pretty. I am happy that from the promo pictures, she doesn't have a lot of changes in terms of the reboot and she looks pretty similar. I do have the other dolls so we can compare and see. And of course I'm hoping for Katrine, which they don't show in any of the promo stuff on these boxes of the only two I have so far. So here's a quick overview of her back packaging and her front packaging. And let's uh, just cut to the chase, open her up and have a look at her. She's really over the top. I kind of like that. <laughs> I liked it in the promo pictures and I like it now. I'm looking real hard to try and find a fleur-de-lis on her, which is usually on there. And at the moment, I'm not seeing one yet. I wonder if she'll have one. So let me open her up. As a matter of interest to those who like to redo them and then put them back in the box, the new boxes are now glued. They only have the tabs at the bottom and the top. So if you're one of those people who like to put them back in, this will be a slight disappointment to you. So let's have a look at her, the newest, and a reboot. Um, I really looked at her very intently and I'm 100% pleased with her. Um, yeah, let's just have a look. An overall look. Oh yes, shout out to my life loving dolls production. I'm catching up on them. They were first on an opening blitz of some Ever After High dolls. So there's how she looks right off the hop. This is cute. I don't see a floor de lis. That's okay. I just always thought that was fun. This does not open. It just is what it is. Um, what else did I know? You know what I really noticed a lot was she doesn't feel cheap. Besides these, which has happened in Monster High, so that's not something new. If you remember Fright's Camera, Action, Operetta, and some others, they've had these molded on gloves. I don't have a problem with that. I actually like the sh because the shape of the octopi definitely goes with the theme, so I'm really good with that. But what I did notice that made it not feel cheap was um, the exquisite patterns on here with the Monster High. So small written that, and oh, I would notice this right. See the sewing right here? The thread is gold, and it's also in her shirt like that. I don't know, to me, that's just one of those things that says, you know, we thought a little extra on this, and it's not, it just doesn't feel cheap. She's not a disappointment at all. Um, I'm very happy with her. And these are really soft, so they're easy to get on and off, which is a treat, because sometimes those high boots can be very complicated. There's another cute detail. These feel like the, um, oh good, ghouls get away. Surprise. Oh, it's a little pirate on the heel. I didn't, uh, yeah, Shirley Dishman, I didn't want to forget <laughs> you requested. Um, me and my hand notes that, oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. These are all the same as usual. They're loose and hard, they fall off easy. Here's her face. This is really kind of cool. It's a nice treat. I, I just gotta say overall, not disappointed one bit with her. Um, I went and got, this is the Rook, 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 that Rook that, came, that she came with. And here's the original. Slight difference in color. And whereas these eyes are purple and white. I don't know if this one's a defect or not, or they just didn't do it dark enough. Eyes are a little different, feel the same, look the same, otherwise exactly the same. So a nice treat that people do to Monster High, get to get a rock hook, drop that. So let's have a second and compare her to the other ones, which I've been very curious about with the reboot going on, of course. This is the Wave 1 Signature Rochelle. This is Scarra, some of the older ones. I thought that would be awesome to um, compare to. Now I think why I've accepted this one is Rochelle has big eyes anyway. So it's not much of a change. As a matter of fact, her eyes look smaller opposite of the rest. You can actually see mine has a little bit of wonk that the 
eye does not go fully onto the form there, so those eyes could actually be bigger. But well, it's mostly for you to have a look. There is a change. The eyelashes seem to change amongst the dolls, so that's not a big deal. Um, yeah, we'll look. Some different triangles now. There's circles. Not bad. The mold is not uh, changed that I can see. Maybe it's a little fuller. What do you think? I don't know. It looks pretty much the same. The lips aren't very much different. A little, but uh, I'm good with her. I'm really good with her. And as with any other ones, hopefully Katrina is going to be the same way. But set the reboot aside. She's a fabulous Monster High doll. She um, gives me visions of the old. I'm good with this one. Absolutely. Tell me what you all think in the comments down below. Will you get her? Is she on your wish list? Do you want her? Do you like her? Oh, and another thing, the hair. It's all the same. That really is awesome. It holds on to her original, no doubt. Eyeliner's a little different. All right, lastly, quick shout out to Jazzy Mom 1. I forget what that one was first for, but I think I owe you one or two more. And a couple other of you that I owe. I'm about, I think, 10 behind in shout outs. I will get to them, as I always do. Y'all have a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Happy summer. And as always, see you next time. Mwah.